Hi digital marketers, this is Faisal Amin. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to track calendar reform with Google Tag Manager for the Google Analytics 4. So you can see our calendar form are looking here. We are just embedded the form in our website. So let's get started how to track calendar form perfectly. And I have already installed Google Tag Manager and inside Google Tag Manager, I have a Google Tag which activates my Google Analytics 4 tracking code. If you have no idea how to install Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager, then take a look at the description of this video. I will provide the link. You can easily set up the Google Analytics 4 in your Google Tag Manager. So let's get started. You can see the custom HTML code. This listener code is push the data layer and activate our Calendly events in our data layer. So copy the code first and go back to the Google Tag Manager, create a new tag, tag configurations, find out the custom HTML here. You can see the custom HTML, click it and paste the code. And triggering will be the all pages. And then we have to giving the tag name that is custom html calendly save it now we go to the preview options and check out that our code is working perfectly or not and our desired event is showing in the google tag assistant or not so go to the preview and connect with our website you can see our google tag assistant connected with our website then go to the calendly booking form that is our calendly booking form we are just click the any date for event scheduling and randomly click the any time and next here we just putting a dummy email and name and finally click the schedule event our process is done now go back to the google tag assistant see our calendly event is looking in the left side if you click the event and see that our calendly event is already showing here first one is event schedule and second one is date and time selected we are finding the two event first one is event schedule and second one is date and time selected so now we are working both of the event so that we are working with the both event event schedule and as well as the date and time selected for that we have to create a variable for both event so back to the google tag manager and the variable sections and click in the new and the variable configuration data layer variable here we putting the data layer variable name so go back to tag assistant here you can see the calendly event we are just pick this event name because both of event we are finding the calendly event if you are set up with the calendly event then it will work for the event schedule as well as the date and time selected we both of event are working with this variable so back to google tag manager and paste the calendly event that is dlb calendly event save it now we go to the tag and the new tag tag configuration in the google analytics we are pick the google analytics GA4 event now we find out the measurement id from our google analytics 4 property then go to google analytics 4 and under the data collection and modification sections go to the data stream and that is our website click it here we can see that measurement id copy the measurement id and back to the google tag manager and paste the measurement id event name event name will be the that is our custom event so go to the tag assistant and copy the event name as a calendly and paste the calendly and as well as we are here put our variable which we are created before that is dlb calendly event for this event we have to track both of event first one is schedule event and second one is date and time selected so our event name is done now go to the triggering options trigger and create a new trigger so click the plus sign and trigger configuration we are selected the custom event for the event name now we go to the tag assistant copy the event name as a calendly and paste the calendly the trigger name will be the event calendly save the trigger we are almost done now giving the tag name that is ga4 calendly events 
save it now we are go to the preview options and check out that our calendly event tracking perfectly working or not then go to the preview continue and that is our website now we go to our calendar form that is our calendar form and selected date and as well as the time and here we putting the name and email and just click the schedule event now back to tag assistant here you can see that our ga4 calendar event is working perfectly now we are check it out in google analytics ga4 property our event is passing to the google analytics 4 or not so go to google analytics and the debug view option we have to click to see our event is working or not here we can see that our calendly event schedule are looking here where you can see that our calendly date and time selected event is working and as well as our calendly event schedule are working so that our both of event are working perfectly so finally we have successfully set up calendly form tag for the google analytics for by using our google tag manager thanks for watching this video i will see you in the next video with a new topic thank you